What's going on guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and guys, if you're like me, you like semi-auto shotguns, and you like the AK platform. Well, you're going to love the fact that those are combined right here in the Lynx 12 by SDS imports, but you know what you're going to love even more? The price. Guys, for a short time, limited time, we are going to have this guy right here that you see with the nickel boron bolt for $299.99. Just yesterday, we had these on the site for $469.99, $470. Guys, you are now getting this right here for $299.99. The reason behind that is because this is the closeout. We just got a shipment in and this is what we got them here for is $299.99 guys. So don't miss out on the SDS Imports Link 12 with the nickel boron bolt and bolt carrier for $299.99. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and roll into the features on this guy. It does sport a 19 inch barrel that is chrome lined, pretty sweet. And also too, it does take Sega magazines and accessories and that also includes your muzzle brake. So if you wanted to throw on a type of uh, Sega style muzzle brake, you can do that. Just take off your uh, thread protector here, throw on whatever you want, nice. Also too, four position adjustable gas block right up front. So if you wanted it to be completely off, you have that option, low, medium, all the way up to high pressure loads, you will be able to shoot with no problem here. Very sturdy polymer forend on it. Uh, you're not gonna be breaking that, that's for sure. Also has your sling mount right on the front there. Coming back, again, that nickel boron bolt, really nice to have there. Also really nice, since we're right back here talking about all this, is the magazines, okay? So Sega style mags, takes five rounds, the one that it comes with, but let's just say you have an SGM Tactical 12 round Sega style mag laying around like, I don't know, we do. Uh, pop that into place and now you've got 12 rounds of two and three quarter or three inch shells to send down range with so gotta love that right also gotta love the fact that they uh, integrated a 1.5 millimeter receiver on this guy so nice thick beefy but still very lightweight which is just excellent so glad that uh, SDS has done such a good job on this shotgun let's pop that five rounder back in there now other neat features about the receiver, they have gone ahead and integrated an optics mount on the side. So if you wanted to throw your slugs through here, you can do that, find that point of impact, get it all sighted in and you'll have a nice slug gun. Or if you just wanted to throw a red dot on there, great home defense option because semi-auto shotguns are great. And the safety lever on it. The safety lever I like quite a bit, very easy to actuate. And what they've gone and done is they've added that little, little extra piece of metal there where you can actually actuate the safety with just your uh, trigger finger. So you don't actually have to take your hand off of your shooting position or you take your strong hand off of the grip and away from the trigger to actuate the safety. So very nice that they've done that and it's good, quick, easy to actuate. Other nice thing that they've integrated here is a bolt hold open. Now that's not a bolt hold open, that's just a cutout on the safety where the charging handle can lock into. Note, they've actually added a little button, might be a little difficult to pick up on camera. That guy right there, very easy to use the side of your trigger finger if you're right-handed to go ahead and just push up on that while you've got the bolt back and it locks right into place as you see there. So pretty nice to do, uh, great for just a quick little cleaning or anything like that. Uh, or if you do have any malfunctions or anything, which I haven't seen on this, uh, it'll be easy to clear that. So nice that they've integrated that. And then of course, to let the bolt go forward, just pull back and let it ride. So very nicely done, definitely a fan of that. Standard AK style grip, large trigger guard. So if you're shooting with gloves, it'll be easy to manipulate that trigger. Speaking of the trigger, not a bad trigger. A little bit of creep, a little bit of grit, but then again, it is an AK style 12 gauge. So uh, not exactly looking for precision here. And I think I could still shoot this pretty fast, just saying. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm a fan of all of this so far. Coming back, standard AK style stock with your sling swivel on the side here, sling swivel to match it right up front. So if you want to get slung, you can get slung. There you guys go. So again, $299.99 for the Lynx 12 by SDS Imports with that nickel boron bolt and bolt carrier. Gotta love that. Thicker receiver, made to take the brunt of, you know, the highest pressure loads, three inch slugs that you can throw through it. Uh, whatever it may be, it'll be able to handle it and handle it just fine. So yeah, I'm happy we got them, especially for that $299 price. Don't miss out. Also, don't miss out on getting all those entries in for our Alpine White Chris Vector rifle, chambered in 45 ACP. Again, this is a rifle that's not a suppressor. This isn't a short barreled configuration, so no Form 4 NFA dealing with or anything like that. Just your 4473 at your FFL. But that's only if you get enough entries in to win, or not even enough entries. All you need is one. Get those entries in, guys, and uh, get randomly selected to win the Chris Vector that you see right here. Congratulations to our winner on the ACR. 
Ah, sweet. All right, get those entries in. Check out this guy right here. Don't forget to check out Kendall Gray's video on that. Shout out to Mammy as always. And I always thought that guy kind of looked like a Stormtrooper gun too. So check out our video on it where I get kind of stupid with a Stormtrooper and helmet and missing shots and everything as they do. But anyway, okay. $2.99 again for the Lynx 12 with the uh, nickel boron bolt guys as always we appreciate you and your business god bless god bless the usa and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com <laughs>